couch Dogs need the lessons Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which I want to share with you something really, really fun and also very easily executed. Um, I want to share with you a very specific method to create the weird sound. Okay, you all know it. It's that outside sound that doesn't sound minor or major. It sounds really weird. Okay, some people call it exotic, but um, Basically, all it means is going outside the natural minor or major scale. So I will show you a way to create that weird sound using finger style, and then you can take it and improvise with it and compose with it and do whatever it is you want to do. Now, for that, we need to play in the open E minor scale. So in case you don't know it, it's strings 1, 2, 3, and 6 open. Okay, We're going to toy around with the arpeggios as well. Um, and the natural E minor scale is 0, 2, 3 on the E string, okay, on the first string, 0, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, and 12. Now most people, when they want to play the outside sound, they play the harmonic minor, so instead of 10, they play 11, so you get this. Okay, that, okay, and if you land on 11, yeah, you get that outside sound that I'm talking about. And I'm gonna show you how to do it all over the neck, okay? Not just 11, not just the harmonic minor sound, okay? So first, if you're not well-versed in playing around with this, just play around, just, okay, play an arpeggio, put a finger anywhere, and just create a little melody. Okay, nothing fancy, just get used to the, mi the minor sound. It, okay? Got your ears around it. Right, now we're gonna move notes. The first note to move around is seven to six. Okay, that gives you that diminished or augmented sound. Okay, that all depends on whether it's a flat something or a sharp something, but it's both here. Okay, so instead of seven, we're gonna play six. Okay, so Okay, you have six. Okay, and you can hear it work if you do six, three. Okay, this is only the first step. Okay, now if you add the 11 to it, okay, the harmonic minor sound, you get something really special. Okay, now that 6-8 is an augmented sound, and then you have 11. Okay, now it's already very outside-y, it's already very weird. Now what happens if instead of 8 we play the 7? So instead of the 7-8 that we have in the natural scale, okay, we're gonna play the 6 to 7. Okay? So we don't play 8. Okay? Including 11. So now we have 0, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. Okay? We have 5, 6, and 7. We're going to take care of that in a second. And then you have 11 and 12. Okay, you can do 10. Okay? And this gives you a very, very complex scale. Okay, which is why I prefer to use the 11 because we're gonna add an extra note. Which is 9. Okay? And now we change basically all the top notes. Instead of 8, 10, and 12, we're gonna play 9, 11, and 12. Not done yet. Okay? Play around with this. Okay? Okay, when you, okay, when you play the nine, you get a major sound. Okay? 
it's from A major. Okay, so it's uh, Dorian, sorry for that. Uh, so it's a, it's the Dorian sound. Okay, but it's not a Dorian scale at all. Okay, we're gonna take it more outside, okay? I'm gonna add all the possible notes and then I will show you how to create good music out of it that is not only outside it, okay? We will use the natural scale and then we're gonna use the outside notes. We're gonna use the minor scale and just go outside for each different lick. I just wanna show you what you can do first, okay? Now let's take care of the low notes, okay? We have two, three, and five. So we can do one, three, and, uh, one, three, and four, okay? Why four? Because we have five, six, and seven. So let's just leave six and seven and change the five to four, okay? Which is the E major, okay, the E the E major note, okay? So again, we're not gonna use all of them in sequence, we're just gonna use a few of them each time, but we need to hear all of them first. Okay, you can do four and three, and then you have three and four, six and seven, nine and 11, and 12. Now again, I suggest staying away from 12 as a, as a target note. Yeah, you wanna, you wanna finish a line on a weird note. That's the key here. Okay? To get that uncomfortable feeling that something just, just one step away, okay, a half step away technically, but it's so close to the right note, but it's not, and it, it bothers the ear, and that's the, the meaning of the weird sound. So, okay, three and four. And we have one. Okay, which is the Phrygian scale, the Phrygian sound. Okay, but to avoid the Phrygian sound, you can play one and then four instead of one and then three. And then six. And now this was completely unmelodic. This was completely untasty. Okay? There's one final note. If we play the nine on the E string, we can play the octave okay, down on two on the second string. No, I'm in tune. Okay, so where am I? Uh, yeah. Okay, so you can use two on the second string instead of uh, one on the second string for the natural A minor sound. Okay, so we're on E minor. Let's go over all the outside notes. Two on the second string. Okay, and then we're gonna make music on the E string. Zero, one, four. Okay, let's leave the three out of it because it's the natural minor. Zero, one. Four, six, seven, nine, eleven, and twelve. Right? And I suggest always to land on a weird note. Now the real challenge begins because you want to play, you want to play a melodic line and end it on a weird note. You want to play a weird line and end it on a minor note. You want to mix the two of them and go back and forth. Okay, so start by playing the minor scale. And then instead of two, okay, I played two and three, instead of two, replace it with one. You see? Very simple, you just change one note at a time. Now let's go up. Five and seven, right? Okay, I played three, five, and seven, and then I added the six. So I no longer play the five. Now you see, I changed to the six at the end, got the weird sound. Now, instead of eight, we're gonna play nine. See? 
that 9 added a flavor. Okay, and we already played with the 11. Now remember you have 2 on the 2nd step. Octave. I played the two on the second string and I played just strings two and one twice. Okay, and I let go of it to avoid a harmony. Right? That's what I did. That's all I did. I just played two strings. Right? And then you can use the octave on nine. Right? And of course, you can always use 10. You don't have to do 9 and 11. You can use the natural minor note. You can play 9 and 10. Okay, just one note out of place, not all of them. Right? So you can toy around with this. To your heart's content. You can create harmonies if you like uh, using the second string uh, E minor scale or you can try and find the same notes on the second string. Hey, for example, if you have one on the E string, you have six on the second string. So you can play five and six together and then you can play seven and eight and get a weird harmony. But that's for a completely different lesson. So thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There are tons, hundreds of free lessons for you, just like this one. And uh, I will see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.